this is the curve that I have going on for the dervish for the drift frame. Uh, this calms it right down. So 50% input is only like maybe like 10% output. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Lower, lower, lower. There. Still, re still really don't know how to aim too well. Oh well. Uh, using a stick does not translate well on the planet side, no. It's more of a doing it because I can, not because it's, uh, not because it's good. Cedric TV says, nice setup. Lounge from Vitalis. Thank you, thank you. The biggest advantage it would give you in planet side is yaw control. Because it will give you analog control over yaw. The other advantage that it would give you is it doesn't matter what airframe you have, you can put in exactly as much thrust as you need to uh, hold in place because the thrust amount is analog. Those are the two main advantages, but there's a lot of there's a lot of disadvantages. Specifically, uh, the sensitivity curves in planet side are wonky and you have to try to compensate for that with joystick software and firmware and they don't really mesh too well however the heavier the vehicle it tends to work better so like dervish lib um are pretty fine not too bad um the valkyrie of course is fine because you don't have to aim galaxy same thing esfs are really 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 wobbly um, the other problem is is you only have joystick sensitivity and dead zone and the sensitivity is kind of like a curve but each um each vehicle also has its own curve so it's kind of difficult to get something that actually uh it actually works so this is only like day two of trying to tune it for the dervish um you have to tune uh it separately for each vehicle like i'll show you um if you give me one second here. Uh, Rel actually pointed out my uh, my setup once about nine, ten months ago. Uh, it was more specifically to do with the, uh, the, the well, it was the whole setup, but it was also the targeting computer setup as well. Okay, uh, so this is, this is Joystick Gremlin. So this just gives you an idea of what the, um, what the input curves are. So this is my this is my roll curve. So um, this is this is input and this is output. So when I am at fifty percent, I'm more like at seventy five eighty percent of uh, of input. So it takes whatever you're putting in and translates it into putting something out. So this is a this is a fairly aggressive roll curve. And that's to compensate for the fact that when you use roll on a joystick and planet side, it's very non, uh, very non-responsive. So there's your 50% input. Here's about 75, 80% output for the for the joystick. Um, like similar, this is this is the pitch curve. So this is not really that aggressive. It's actually less input. So when I'm at 50%, it's more like at like 35%. So that's because pitch is actually overtuned for joysticks and planet side, at least for certain vehicles. So that helps calm the pitch down. But what happens is, is when you get back into like this area here, then it sort of catches up and it ramps up back to the top. And then this is the curve that I have going on for the dervish for the drift frame. And the reason why this one's shaped this way is because the drift frame and the dervish tends to overturn. overturn. It's the fastest yaw speed, but it also is so fast that it overshoots. So uh, this calms it right down. So 50% input is only like maybe like 10% output, and then it ramps up towards the end. So you can still turn fast by going to the full extent of the curve. But uh, this calms it down in the low area. It allows you not to overshoot the target so easily um, when you're trying to aim and trying to flip the, the dervish around. 
for the like I had a different set of curves for the Valk. It just depends on the vehicle that you're flying. Um, but yeah, that's basically what you have to do in order to get the at least that's what feels good to me. It might feel different for you. Um, but yeah, that's what you have to do because Planet Side doesn't have those built in tools. You sort of have to do it with your own uh, joystick stuff. Unfortunately, well, it's, Planet Side is not really a joystick game, but it's uh, it's fun. I didn't, I don't have the setup built for Planet Side, but it works. It's pretty entertaining. Yeah, I I hope so. Just being able to manually set those those curves in game would go along. Uh, well, two two things they'd have to do. One, they would have to make it so that it can detect whatever controller you have connected instead of just the first one. And because that, like, I've had a lot of people ask me, how do you even set it up to work with Planetside? You, it's it's a lot of work. Um, two, having those joystick curves built in game would greatly, greatly, greatly help. Um, being able to fine tune for each vehicle. But there's probably like dedicated joystick players in Planet Side. I want to say most of them have probably told them told me that they are <laughs> because of how hard the initial setup is if you have more than one device. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's not a it's not a very common it's not a very common setup at all. Oh right, you can't deposit with this laser. Yeah, that's dumb. I always think that you can for some reason, but you can't. <laughs> yep. Coming in. I feel like I should give this guy turrets, but we'll see how long this base lasts. Alright, um, do you want to pull or do you want me to? Uh, yeah, I'll pull. Alright. Also, Lee, invite. Oh, we got Mozzie on us already. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Lower, lower, lower. There. 